Good morning, I'm Dr Natalie Cleese with the New South Wales Health COVID-19 update for Sunday 27th February 2022. Across New South Wales, more than 95% of people aged 16 and over have received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and 94.3% have received two doses. Of children aged between 12 and 15, 83.6% have received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and 79.1% have received two doses. Of children aged between 5 and 11, 47.3% have received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. Of people in New South Wales aged 16 and over, 53.9% have received a booster dose. New South Wales Health would like to remind people that booster doses for COVID-19 are available for people aged 16 and over three months after receiving your second dose. There are still a number of people waiting to receive their third dose, but there is no reason to delay, especially over the next two weekends. New South Wales Health vaccination clinics will be running walk-in weekends today, Sunday the 27th of February, and next weekend, the 5th and 6th of March. No appointment is required to access these clinics. There were 6,014 positive test results notified to 4pm yesterday. This includes 2,198 positive PCR tests and 3,816 positive rapid antigen tests. There are currently 1,146 people admitted to hospital with COVID-19. This includes 58 people in intensive care, 21 of whom require ventilation. Sadly, New South Wales Health is reporting the deaths of seven people with COVID-19, six men and one woman. New South Wales Health expresses its sincere condolences to their families and loved ones. Masks are now only mandatory on public transport, on planes, at airports, in hospitals, age and disability care facilities, correctional facilities and for indoor music festivals with more than 1,000 people. However, masks are still strongly recommended for all indoor environments where you cannot maintain safe physical distancing from others. Please be mindful that if you or a loved one have any symptoms of COVID-19, such as a fever, runny nose, cough, sore throat, shortness of breath, or loss of smell or taste, please protect others by getting tested and self-isolating until you receive a negative result. If you have symptoms and are at risk of serious disease of COVID-19, please get a PCR test, as this is more accurate and means that you can be assessed for treatment faster. New South Wales Health would again like to thank you all for your ongoing efforts to protect your community and loved ones. Please stay safe.